What if you could stop the aging process? What if you could stop aging and forever look 30 years old, 38 years old, 47 years old? Better yet, what if you could reverse aging and go back the way you looked when you are 20, 28, 32? Well, that's what scientists at Harvard Medical School are hoping to accomplish in the near future after successful trials of reversing age-related characteristics in mice. Using a compound called nicotinamide mononucleotide, or NMN, David Sinclair and his colleagues were able to effectively increase and improve the blood flow in older mice, which is one of the significant factors that initially leads to age-related diseases. That is, when organs like the brain begin to lose blood circulation, they start to have problems. Upon improving the blood flow of the older aged mice, Sinclair's team observed the mice that received the compound had increased their treadmill run speed by 60%. Furthermore, the experimental group doubled the endurance of the control group. Astonishingly, these speeds and endurances matched and even exceeded measures taken of the younger control group mice. So how does NMN do this? To quote Sinclair, here we have the potential of having a pill give the benefits of basically running one to two miles a day without having to do that. Sinclair explains that the increased blood flow not only improves the delivery of oxygen to the brain, but also aids in the rehabilitation of aging tissue, organs, and speeding, speeds the healing of wounds. Sinclair also speculates that this compound could also enhance the abilities of professional athletes. Increased blood flow means an ability, an ability to train harder and longer. Sinclair is already testing out the molecule in humans. Though it is already sold as a supplement, Sinclair is observing the molecule's biological effects on experimental groups. Unfortunately, anti-aging compounds have a long history of not proving to be as effective on humans as they are on animals. However, Sinclair is so confident about the benefits of NMN that he has actually begun taking the supplement himself. <clears throat> Tests and medical analysis have confirmed that the molecule is safe to consume and that it doesn't lead to any out of control blood vessels. So will an anti-aging pill be hitting the shelves anytime soon? Skin creams and anti-aging formulas create a $250 billion industry and scientists and companies are constantly scrambling for the next promised holy grail. However, Sinclair and his colleagues have also identified another compound by the name of nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, or NAD for short, that may just promise to be the next real elixir. As Sinclair humbly notes, NAD is the closest thing we've got to a fountain of youth. Without this molecule, explains Sinclair, one would be dead in 30 seconds. NAD is a molecule common to all living things and is responsible for regulating cellular aging and maintaining functions within the whole body. Unfortunately, as animals and people age, our levels of NAD begin to diminish. After identifying this compound, Sinclair and his colleagues tried upping the levels of NAD in older mice to see if the increased concentration would cause them to look, act, and live longer. And they were successful. In 2017, Sinclair and his colleagues published their research in the journal Science affirming their theories. By putting a few drops of the compound NAD into the water of the mice, the NAD levels of the mice had risen within hours. After one week of consuming the NAD compound, researchers could no longer distinguish the difference between the tissue of a two-year-old mouse of the experimental group and a four-month-old mouse of the control group. Human trials began and similar results have been reported. Researchers demonstrated in a randomized control trial that over a two-month period, NAD levels in experimental groups can increase substantially. Sinclair now takes NAD as does his father. Sinclair's father, 78, used to act like Ehor, but now, according to Sinclair, the man goes on six-day hikes and travels around the world. 
Sinclair is cautious to speak conclusively as, as long-term studies are still yet to be completed. However, Sinclair is definitely optimistic and hopeful about the results. He says, quote, it's going to work. I hope I can be the one to prove it. Regarding Sinclair's long-term ambitions, Sinclair intends on demonstrating his research to the, food and, to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, which will eventually lead to a pill that can be prescribed by doctors and later even purchased over the counter. However, Sinclair is already encountering competition. A company called Elysium has already begun selling a supplement called Basis, which can also boost NAD levels in humans. According to co-founder and chief scientist Leonard Guarency, Basis' intentions were never to help extend people's lives, but to promote happier and healthier ones. Nevertheless, Sinclair's findings may provoke his competitor Elysium to launch a new version of the the supplement, marketing it and touting it for its longevity, longevity benefits. Sir Richard Roberts, a Nobel laureate and an advisor on Elysium's scientific advisory board, has confessed that he's not sure whether it's because of basis or something else, but he has noticed that the skin on his elbows seems softer and smoother now. Since Elysium brought basis to the market as a supplement, Instead of a drug, as it managed to forego years of clinical research and FDA approvals, perhaps a good route that Sinclair and his colleagues will have to take, Basis continues to thrive as a successful supplement. Elysium is still conducting clinical trials with Basis and it insists that there are no long term harmful effects. Thus, between Elysium and Sinclair, findings will reveal soon if NAD is really the miracle fountain of youth that the world has been waiting for.